Hello there, a new project for today. Well, you see, I have one of these M meters, it's AD101. And this one, it's measuring the current, AC current. So let's say this one comes with a coil like this. And if we want to know the current, the intensity of the, of the power through a power line, all we have to do is to insert this coil through the power line the coil will pick up because of the electromagnetism will pick up a certain voltage AC voltage and I suppose it's around maximum 1 volt for 100 amps you see this one it's working with 100 amps and it's connected over here and then we have on the display we'll have the the value. I tried to open it before what I found out this is for mounting uh, on the panel or something on the front panel I'm afraid I can't I can't open it like that so uh, let me see if I can pop up okay we have to solder it connection here here and here so it's looking like I have to beloved TS100 this because it's getting hot for sure yeah one is gone what about the other be careful with these wires because this these are the, the sensors this is gone you see we have these nuts here if you intend to use it again we have to keep those nuts well my intent is to try to reverse engineering this one and to use it like a like a sensor for a, a limiter okay what I want to do now is to have some power to this device I want to check the voltage to this electrolytic uh, capacitor Okay, so we got power over there. Now let's check those numbers there. Four point twenty nine volts. So I, what I have done for now, I get rid of the electrolytic capacitor because I don't need it anyway. Not anymore. I'm going to have 5 volts from a different uh, power supply. But uh, for the beginning, I will try one of these lithium batteries. So this is in parallel here. And uh, I should have like uh, 3.8, 4 volts almost. Mm -hmm. and this is plus. And we have minus with white. Let's see what's happening. It's working. So 3.5 should be enough. And now, what I want to do, I want to insert the coil to my Sonoff controlled uh, extension cord. But, because this is 100 amp I have to I have to make it a little bit sensible because I don't want to work with too much current for now so how can we do that I insert here inside here a coil I made another coil that should be five times more the current than a single wire okay so now let me open this up and try to divert the wires here. Next step, let me see if my uh, Sonoff application is on. That's the one here. Let's put the heater on. That should be around 400 watts because that's the power of this little machine. 
420, 407. Okay, that's so that's the level somehow. And we got like 10 amps here because we have this extra coil. It's four times five, it should be like 20, but it doesn't really matter. The most important thing is that this little arm is working by itself. Okay, what I want to do now is to see if I can experiment with a lower uh, current and voltage, AC voltage. I have this transformer, 10 volts here, and uh, I will connect a bulb through the coil here. Perfect. Now let me see if we have any power by the coil. Here is the little mumbo jumbo. Of course we have. 8.1 amps. Let's forget about uh, the extra coil here. So I may say it's not uh, it's not exactly voltage related. It's current related because, like we saw, we have 10 volts AC here. It's not 230 or something. So 1.2, 1.5 amps. This is great. So uh, why I did that? Because I want to experiment small voltages and currents before doing anything bigger. You know? The next step is to find a proper way to connect some voltages from here, from the display, let's say, to the analog in of the Arduino and then to make Arduino like a controller, a P MW PWM controller pulse pulse width modulation and to insert that pulse width modulation controller in between the solar panels and the inverter and that's how can I uh, I'm thinking I can modulate the power from the panels to the inverter because the main uh, the main idea here is to keep the the power the solar power the inverter it's supplying inside my house so i don't want any power goes to the grid the most important thing is that this little one it's working by his own with a, a power supply you know so we don't need any kind of grid connection anymore to the mains or anything it's working great and uh, i'm coming later with the development of this project. I think it's a pretty interesting idea. And thank you for now. Hope you enjoy it. Be safe. Bye-bye.